Previously on MasterChef, starting right now, you'll no longer be cooking in regional groups. Wow. Please welcome Chef Andre Rush. <laughs> they gotta make the rations to start. The fish is flaky, and that gnocchi is out of this world. The immunity pin goes to Grant. <laughs> I got it, baby. This is too acidic for me. It's just not a good use of the rations. This looks like something I'd find in my kids' undershorts. Strawberry jam noodles. What were you thinking? The home cook that will be leaving is Nina. Tonight, it's a MasterChef classic. The Tag Team Challenge. Yeah. You have to cook dishes you could find in some of the world's best restaurants. Grant, for winning last time, you get to pick the teams. What's your strategy? I'm here today to tell you that nice guy's gone. Let's go, Charles. We've yeah. got to do this. Switch. Let's go. No, no, put that down. No, it's an ice cream scoop. You can't just say I got you. You got to talk to me. I got you. Switch. Mix it, mix it. Oh, my god, we burned this. MD! Jennifer! Don't cheat! Oh, my lord. It's disaster, chef! It's so terrible. Let's just help. Someone did worse than us. Uh, we go. Big one tonight. All righty. Love this challenge. It's my favorite. This one needs teamwork like no other. It's a tough one. Very tough. Hello. Welcome back, guys. Come on. Okay. Let's go. Uh, oh. What is oh, happening? Hey. What's going on here? <laughs> I'm seeing colors, and I immediately know what we're about to do. This is the tag team challenge. I'm a lifelong fan, but it's also a little terrifying, too. Welcome back, everybody. Top 12. <laughs> guys, tonight's challenge is a familiar standby in the MasterChef kitchen. The Tag Team Challenge. Oh, my goodness. Grant. Yes, Chef. Tonight, uh, young man, you've got the immunity pin. You're not going home. No, sir. But there are only 11 cooks down here. So you will be cooking in the Tag Team Challenge. Awesome. Please, make your way down. This challenge really brings out the best and the worst in people. But the fact that I get to experience this challenge with really no risk of going home is going to be really, really fun for me. Now. Tonight, this is a luxurious fine dining tag team challenge. Ooh. Each of these dishes are ones that you could find in some of the world's best restaurants, including mine. To start, a delicious fresh tagliatelle with a lemon cream sauce finished with saute shrimp. That's gorgeous. For the main course, we have a delicious pepper crusted filet mignon served with a truffle mashed potato and steak au poivre sauce. Oh, wow. <sighs> and finally, for the dessert, a delicious sticky toffee pudding with a pistachio mascarpone finished with beautiful caramel sauce. Oh, my goodness. Ah. <laughs> Man. That's gorgeous. Now, Grant, for winning last time round, tonight you get to pick the teams. Fantastic, chef. Come on up here, please. All of a sudden, you've got 11 BFFs. You look good up there, Grant. Hey. Yeah. Go, Grant. What's your overall strategy? Well, throughout this entire competition, my niceness has been brought into question. I think during the auditions, Joe told my mom I was nice enough to be a priest. That's pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here today to tell you that nice guy's gone. <laughs> uh, so the first team I am going to put together are two incredibly strong chefs. They have very big personalities. Wayne with Reagan. I knew it. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> two strong characters, two formidable chefs. My goodness me. Aprons on. Great. OK, uh, next pairing. So these two chefs, one of them I see as one of the strongest competitors left. Uh, the other, we're able to recently see their leadership style. And I don't know how these two home cooks are going to work together. Kennedy and James. All right. Mm. Excellent. Uh, next pairing, who are they? They're standing right next to each other. It's going to be Sav and MD. Wow. Let's get it. <laughs> wow. These two home cooks have run right in the middle of the pack thus far. Grant, uh, there's only two more pairings to go. The next strategic choice is going to be Jennifer and Charles. Wow. <laughs> OK. This pairing is a perfect idea of what my strategy is in pairing a weak cook like Charles with a strong cook like Jen and ensuing chaos there. 
I'm not going to be nice about it. I'm going to do what I think is going to give me the best opportunity to move forward. So, Grant, next pairing. This last pairing I thought is going to be an interesting mix. They're very strong cooks in their own right. Colby and Lizzie. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Grant's pigs brain. Yeah, chef. Well, I'd say, especially at this point in the competition, you keep your friends close and your competition closer. Thank you. I am ecstatic that Grant has chosen me. Thanks, Grant. Mm -hmm. Wow. He's exactly who I'd want to cook with tonight. I'm not going to have to micromanage him or yell at him. We know our skills, and we're going to look out for each other. OK, tonight, you will take turns preparing this three-course meal. When we call switch, you'll switch places. So remember, whoever's cooking, listen up for your teammates' guidance. Right, all of you, listen up. Here's the good news. For the first time in this competition, the two home cooks who make the best three-course meal tonight will both earn immunity pins. No oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Yes. That comes with a guaranteed spot in the top 10. However, at least one cook from the worst team tonight will be going home. Right, uh, all of you, head to your stations. Let's go. Match your apron with your benches. Here we go. We got this. OK, guys, you will have 75 minutes to complete these three dishes. Right, all of you, please take your positions. I think I'd like you to go first. Okay. Have you kneaded the pasta before? Yes, I have. OK, I'm relying on you to do that first. Okay. Right, everybody ready? Yes, yes chef. chef. Your 75 minutes start now. now. Let's go. All right, let's go, Charles. Let's get that pasta going. Get everything ready for the king to go into the oven. Yep, I got me? you. First, start with the tears. Because you wanted me to start here, no? Yeah, okay. start with the tears. All right. The challenging part about Wayne is that he's going to try to be in control of every area. Make them equal size so they'll all cook the same. I don't feel like the potatoes need to be done first, but I just let it be. I'm not going to argue with you. So once you get those diced, uh, you can slice some shallots. No, no, the, I was trying to get the pasta done. I should add four more eggs, correct? But just the yolk. Need a bowl to divide that up. There you go. That, that worked. Well, you might want to save that. Get it. OK, go ahead. Just go ahead. I am very concerned about being paired with Charles because he has been at the bottom of this competition. And so I do think Grant targeted me. It's looking good. But if he can stay focused and not get overwhelmed and not get flustered, maybe we can be successful today. Tell me when to stop. Four. Looking good. I love your calmness. Perfect. Good. We got this. Yeah, we got We know it. our method. We know what we have to do. Correct. Grant has paired me with MD. He's thinking two average people will make a below average team. But we are really hungry to be in the top because we haven't been there yet. Boom. Done. Okay, perfect. Come on, James. Where is the... Hold on. Fast, baby, come on. Got you, I got you. I'm a little bit worried about being partnered with James, only because I like doing four or five things at once, and James really just focuses on one thing. Maybe you should get the butter ready, like, going while you're doing that, babe, so you can, you. you can do two things at once. I got you. Come on, James, we're going to have to pick up some speed. I got you. The tag team challenge is all about strategy tonight, isn't mm. it? You need to be on the same page every step of the way. It's going to expose your communication skills, how fast and diligent you move, and how you organize. I think our key is to just maintain a good rhythm, not rush. Yep, we got exactly. time. Now, three courses. How do you break it down? What's the plan? Tonight is in reverse order. That sticky toffee pudding takes at least 18 to 20 minutes to cook in the oven. You've got to start on that dessert first. Yeah. Yes. Or you can blow the whole thing. Exactly that. And number two is to get that pasta done. Is it looking right? We're looking great. Great. Mr. Pasta Man. And then third, that filet mignon. Yep. Let's go, Charles. I need to put more olive oil. A little bit more. Oh, uh, no. Oh. Come on, put some muscle in it. What's the time looking like? Don't worry about time, I got you. Two and a half minutes to go before our first switch. Two and a half minutes. You hop in, we can just cover it, and okay. then you can start working on that cake. Yep. All right, we got one of the big ones done. Well, I'm going to get pudding batter in right away, and then hopefully uh, my goal is to definitely have that in the oven before the next 10 minutes is up. Love it. Are you making the cake next? Guys, prioritize. You should be getting that batter on for the sticky toffee pudding. 60 seconds to go before our first switch. Stand by. Is there anything else you need to be working on for the cake? Uh, I, I know I got you. I know, baby, you can't just say I got you. You got to talk to me. Um, what yes, there is. Hold on a second. <laughs> 
James is working like a turtle right now. And I really wanted the cake in the oven in the first 10 minutes. And he just gracefully taking his time. 30 seconds. Zest it directly into it, baby. So you're, you're just wasting time right now. I am getting so frustrated. We have so many other things we have to get ready, and I feel like it's starting to fall apart. Listen to what I'm saying. You don't believe it. You trust me or no? I do trust you, James. You so trust me? On. If we don't speed up, it'll be a disaster. Come on, James. OK, come on, James. I got you. I got you. Seconds to go. Don't switch. Stand by. All right, let's go, Charles. This is so important. We've yeah, got to do this. We got to. You need four eggs full, full eggs? Yeah. Let's work a little bit faster, though, James. OK, I got you. When I come in, I'm going to start the pasta and stuff, so I'm not going to be focused on the cake. That's Don't focus gonna... on the cake. I'm looking good to have it done next time. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch. All right, James, go, good go, job. Go, 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 go. All right, Indy, you got this. We're working on the cake. Yep, we're going to work on this Eggs cake. Eggs going. Add a little water. There you go. Right. Uh, Regan, what's going on with these potatoes here? What happened those, there? Oh, we didn't need all those, because we're making one plate. Potatoes. What do you think takes longest to get ready? The pasta. Oh, the cake. The cake. Making mashed potatoes across 75 minutes should be number four or five item down the list. Guess, now, yes, smart yes. move getting the pasta on, which is really important. But start getting that dessert underway, please. Yes, sir. Good. Hi, chefs. Hi. How is the dynamic so far? Do you guys feel yes. like you're working it's, well together? Yes, yes sir. we really yes, are. We are. Who made the pasta dough? I did. How did it come out? I feel like it could be a little bit better. Don't you think it should be formed into a ball and wrapped in plastic wrap? Yeah. Yes. You have to communicate that, yeah. Charles, OK? Joe, can I get some advice on this pasta? Yeah. We have way too much olive oil. Yeah, too much oil. This is, this is never going to work. I can totally feel it is all wrong. There's olive oil everywhere. I only have one choice, and that's to try to add a little bit more flour. But now we are going to be behind on everything else. You've got to measure ingredients exactly. Gotcha. You added the sugar? I'm going to keep adding it little by little. All right, we got it. Let's do this. Sav, uh, what okay. is MD doing now? MD is working on the cake batter. Right. Is the pasta made? The pasta is, is resting right now. Really good indeed. When's that going to go into the oven? As soon as she's done. That's a big weight off your shoulders, yes, a big chef. one, yes? Yes, chef. Good luck. Thank you. You're doing good, Lizzie. You're doing good. Thanks, Colby. 60 seconds to go. So switch. You feel like it's coming together? No. I don't know if we're going to be able to fix it. <laughs> oh, it's breaking. It is totally my fault with this pasta. I completely put way too much oil into it. I know how to do these things, and I'm just under so much pressure that everything just went out the window. Put it aside. Don't worry about it. I feel like if it's not working, we might as well just get focused on the other two dishes. Just seconds away until we switch. Let's go. We're about to switch. Three, two, one, yeah. switch. Let's go. Come on, MD. Got you. So I'm alternating these? Yeah. MD, don't cheat. Look at you, Colby, making some pudding. All right. It's ready to go in the pants? Yep. That's looking looks good, good to James. me. It looks like it's all coming together. That's looking good to me. Guys, at this point, we're 25 minutes gone. They should have the secret of pudding batter done and into the oven. Yep. All right. These are in the oven. It is the essence of this challenge that one cook cannot prepare all three dishes. It should be about three scoops. Beautiful. Grant came in with some strong strategy. He really identified who he thinks the front runners are, who he wants to eliminate, and he made some strategic decisions. Perfect. Perfect. How Perfect. much? 30 time? 30 minutes on that. 30. One. He really made a good choice with Bryn. They're in sync. I think he's going to take control and she's going to listen. Interesting. What do you think about two thirds full? Yes, no more than that. Sav and MD. They've been coasting in the competition so far, so they really need to push each other tonight. Yep. Fingers crossed they can work it out. 20 minutes, and these will come out. Keep going with those eggs, because we got to get them in, get that cake in soon. Reagan and Wayne, upside down. Really? Guess what they started off with first? What? Mashed potato. Jeez. And they haven't even got the sticky toffee pudding done yet. So yeah, they're behind. They are yep. really behind. We're going to do it for 30 minutes. OK, I'm going to set a timer, and I'm going to start working on the potatoes. Yep, perfect. Keep it in a pot, not a bowl, baby. Gotcha. I'm scared we're not going to have pasta, James. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Looks like James and Kennedy have a bit of problem with their pasta dough. Jennifer and Charles have the same issue. It was completely saturated in oil. And Charles is not communicating at all. Is it feeling drier? All right, Charles. It's playing out just as Grant envisioned it. Wow. Put them on a tray and get them in the oven. Soft those potatoes. 
How's the potatoes? They're good. Okay. I'm just gonna start on that sauce and then the steak. Okay, we need to have the black pepper corn crushed first. Pan on either side of the pan. I might break this pan. No, you're not. That's a strong pan. Okay. Is there a faster setting? No, not at all. 30 seconds, guys, until switch. Stand by. James, they're falling into the pot. They have to all go through the ricer. It's not quite do. sticking as much as I want it to. Are you supposed to have oil on it already? Well, I would say yes at this point. Yeah, let's just toss some of that in there. Three, two, one, switch. Perfect. All right. Is that well covered? Yeah, it's We fine. just want to make sure it's all the way. Yeah, it's going to be fine. Blue team. Yes, sir. Where are we? We got the cakes in the oven. We got the potatoes boiling. We're, we're chopping up some of our vegetables to get the sauces going. And we're going to start rolling out our pasta when I hop in there. Good. You've got the right order yes, of sir. getting the heavy work done first. Yes, now sir. bring it home with a finesse. Yes, sir. Yes? Thank you. Come on, Jen. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. What have we done so far here in the red team? We the have steak. The pasta. And the the pasta. steak. Hold on, hold on. What about the sticky toffee pudding? The steak is irrelevant right now. OK. Sticky toffee pudding gets in the oven immediately, okay? Yes. Man. Oh, boy. Jennifer and Charles are in trouble. Wow. The sticky toffee pudding is still not done. Oh, my lord. Literally, my dream at stake here. This is not Master Chef for them, it's Disaster Chef. and Charles are in trouble. Wow. The sticky toffee pudding is still not done. I tend to get overwhelmed a lot. Jen keeps yelling at me, Gordon keeps yelling at me, and I am in panic mode. My mind is just shutting down right now. It's too important to me not to get all this on the plate. Let's get it going, Jen. We're in this together. Just under 30 minutes to go. Pasta needs to start getting rolled and start thinking about your sauces. Now we need to kind of start working on sauces, too. Okay. So we're going to get the shallots and the garlic chopped up. Yeah. Oh, this reduced again. Is that a little more lemon? Yes. We're going to just roll it right through. There we go, Wayne. Let's just get that out of there so it's not laying in it. Get this yeah. out of my way, because I don't need this right now. Yeah. All right, James. I want to make sure the steak's good. I feel like we started too early. That looks good right there. I want to get this pasta going. We can't not have pasta on the plate. The pasta right now is way too oily, and I feel like we can't just leave it off completely. I know that I have a little bit of flour left, and it should balance out the oil in the pasta. Yep, roll it out some more. We're back in the business, baby. Let's go. That's amazing. Now that we got our pasta, we can really get going. 15 seconds until we switch. You've got to start both dessert sauces. Got it? Yep. And then after this, I can do the pasta. Perfect. Five, four, three, two, one. One and switch. Let's go. I'll test it with the flour, okay? Okay. Mix it. Mix it. Mix it. Jennifer. Let's go. Done. No, done. Oh. Done. I need to get these potatoes in. Uh uh. Get that cake in right now. Oh, you got it. You got it. Okay. Now get the scoop. Yeah. No, it's an ice cream scoop. Like you scoop it in a bowl. Gotcha. One scoop. Come on, get it in. I want to get the steak on now. Okay. Ready? There you go. Nice. Now in the oven. It needs to be in the oven longer. OK. OK, it's in there. Pop it in the oven. I am glad our water's boiling. Oh, oh, got a little fire. I'm going to need you to watch that steak. I'm watching. Get it on the side. Get it on the side. The water can wait. There you go. Um, I think it's going it's the opposite way. I think it's going the opposite way. I'm just going to roll it up and slice it. Uh, we got to start the steak. Yes. Reagan, check the steak for me right now. Pinch it, pinch it. How's it feel? All right, that's done. No, the steak needs a little bit of love. Let it go for a little bit. You sure about that? Yes. OK. Good job, good job, yeah. good job. Right. Add a girl, add a girl. Sticky toffee pudding should be coming out of the oven now. The cakes look amazing. All right, I do need you to grab a, your paring knife and run it around the, the cake, or else it's not going to pop out. All right, good job on the cakes. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, let those cool down. We're looking good, James. Right. Everything's coming together. We can make it happen, OK? I know, I know. I need an offset spatula. I'm just going around them real quick. OK. Oh, and then make sure to check on the cake. They need probably five more minutes. All right. Where are we? Where are we? Potatoes? Focus now. Potatoes out, drain them, incorporate the cream, yes? Yes. Let's go. Charles, what are you doing? You're I'm draining do. the potatoes. You've got to drain them, young man. Talk to me. 
Trying to find a... You need to drain them, right? Yes. How, why are you putting them in there with the water on? Hold up the ricer. Come on, let's go. My, my brain is shutting down. Come on, don't give up, young man. Please start ricing. Let's go. So there you go. Nice, fluffy mash. Let's go. Simple as that. We still have to do the mascarpone. We still have to make the caramel sauce. We still have to finish the cook on the entree. And I'm just afraid we're not going to have anything on the plate. you got to go like this, Clappers, OK? You can do this. Let's go, Charles. Beef stock for the sauce? Yes, please. In the, in sorry, the original Jen. pan. Jen, breathe. No, it's OK. Just under three minutes away from your final switch. I need you to start the sauces front left. Front, no, 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 put that down. Put that down. The large cream. OK. Sorry, quarter cup, less than a quarter cup. What is she making, the caramel now? Uh, yeah, this is the caramel. Now we need the mascarpone cream sauce to start. I got to use the whip and top. Good luck. 30 seconds, guys. Last switch, standing by. Add a little salt to it. Continue to let it reduce. OK, cool. How's this steak? Just pull it out, because it will need to rest anyway. I think it's good. OK. Five. Four, three, two, one, switch! For the final time, let's go! Oh. Go, 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 Get the mask go, go, go. All right, buddy, you got it. Let's go, Jen. Swap those. Start searing your little shrimp, start getting everything together. Let it reduce. That right. pot got to get hot for the shrimp. Yep. There we go. We do need to start a pan for the shrimp. Yes. The shrimp are going to get sauteed in this pan. Yep. Got it. Let me check that steak. It's done. All right, that's done. Easily enough. I started the steak, Wayne finished the steak. But I think it was in the oven too long. And I just hope it's not overcooked. I'm gonna let that rest. Okay. No touch of my steak. Let's get her. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, bud. What's the story with the white wine sauce? Oh, my God, we burned this. Oh, shoot. If we don't fix this sauce, this dish is nothing. It's just noodles on a plate with caviar. But this is gonna be down to the wire now. This is not gonna be the sauce that we hope it is. I don't know. Maybe. There you go. Just pour it right on top, I guess. Focus on plating. OK. Is that enough? Keep going. Keep going. Lick the sauce, baby. Relax. I got it. I got okay. it. OK. Two minutes, guys. Start plating. Let's go. This is literally the biggest nightmare of my life. OK, get get the cake. Put it in the middle. Put some of that sauce on it real quick. All right. Is this mascarpone any good? Oh, gosh. No? No. Move it on. Move on. We don't have the mascarpone for that. We don't have the mascarpone. The tongues are Tongs are right here and the shrimp are here. Put a little, yeah, do that. Make it look right. Get at least something on there. OK, that's done. Move that out your way. I think the broccoli is supposed to go under the steak. Beautiful. And then get your steak. Plate it on top, boom. Sauce looking good. 30 seconds to go. We did not do a sauce. We don't have time for nothing else, really. Um... Come on, MD, you can do it. We don't need all that. Let's just get it right on there. That's a hot mess. I love it. It's fine. Where's the caviar? Right here, right here, right here. Uh, OK. That's good. And put the sauce all around. Five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. Hands in the air. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Colby! <laughs> it's not perfect, but. We did it, though. The only thing we didn't make was the mascarpone. At least, at least we got something out of plate. Yeah. Let's just help. Maybe someone did worse than us. I don't know. Yeah. It's okay. So terrible. Don't worry about it. I'm not used to getting yelled at, so. That was so hard. What a tag team challenge. Now, time to taste all of your dishes to see who's gunning towards the top 10 and which cook from the worst team tonight will be going home. Let's start off with Colby and Lizzie. Please bring your three dishes down. I am thrilled about these dishes. We communicated. We did good. They were plated well. I'm truly hoping that we get the immunity pin. That is a straight line to top 10, and that's where I've always wanted to be. Let's taste it, shall we, gentlemen? Shrimp, slightly overcooked. Um, pasta needs more seasoning. It's a shame, because the actual density of the pasta is good, but there's just no seasoning there. OK, so the steak looks like a good dose of pepper. I've got a nice sear on it. Potatoes look good. The sauce, not quite as creamy and rich. How's the steak cooked? Should be medium rare. All right. So that's a perfect medium rare. Nice crust. Thank you. Shall we try it? Yeah. Uh, mashed potatoes could be a little bit more creamy. 
Um, but whoever controlled that steak absolutely nailed it. Beautifully. Really good. Thank you. Yeah, the amount of the black pepper was the perfect amount. Had this dish been sauced properly, it would have been a 9 out of 10. Good job. Thank you. Visually, the stick dropping looks great. Perfect filling of the mold, but it's missing the mascarpone. Let's see the sauce. That looks good. Yep. Lovely consistency. The sauce is beautiful. Yep. Sticky toffee is delicious. Sauce, absolutely spot on. Right consistency. Got to take it to task. It needs a touch more aeration. It's a little bit doughy. Apart from that, great job. I love how sticky and just over the top yummy this is. Yeah, really quite good. I don't mind the density of it either. I like sticky toffee when it's dense like that. It's quite good. Thank you. Thank you. Right, next up, Grant and Bryn. I am a little worried. Grant has immunity here, so if we are the worst two cooks, he's safe. I have to go home. Uh, visually on the pasta, shrimp look a little bit undercooked, sauce a little bit wishy-washy. Yes, chef. Shall we? The pasta itself is okay. The sauce is just a little bit sour. It tastes like a melted cream cheese. The sauce is bizarre. It's a bad execution. What a shame. Okay, filet looks properly seared. How's the steak cooked? Steak should be a medium rare. All right, let's take a look. So the steak is a pretty classic medium rare. The dish overall looks good, but the amount of pepper you put on here is holy smokes. Look, the dish is good. It's just the, the amount of pepper really is uh, kind of sets your mouth on fire. It's kind of tough to get through anything else. Mash, exceptional, but less peppercorns. Edit yourselves. Yes, Chef. Dessert looks good. The orange segments are missing. You just didn't get to them? We chose to omit them to make sure we could complete other parts of the other dishes. It would take 20 seconds to cut three orange segments. Um, sauce a little bit clunky, slightly separated and broken. Shall we try it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, sticky to my pudding, delicious. And I think what I want to highlight here is the volume in those molds. Shows great confidence. It's aerated, it's light. Because you let it rest, all that beautiful date flavor had a chance to sit there and permeate all those nooks and crannies. And that is what makes this so special of a dessert. And the mascarpone cream, I'm happy you didn't overwhip it. Thank you. It's pretty spot on. Thank you. All right, the next team is Reagan and Wayne. Come on up. Wayne and I work together pretty well, but I did the seasoning of the steak. I just want to make sure that it's done and it's not overcooked, but we'll see how it goes. The pasta looks good. Shrimp looks seasoned and well cooked. Shall we? Yeah, I mean, listen, first of all, the actual seasoning of the dish is beautiful. Sauce is delicious. It tastes really good. Thank you. For me, the sauce is the real hero. It's the right consistency. Great job. Thank you, Chef. Filet mignon, um, visually. It looks scorched as opposed to me sear. You think it's overcooked? Uh, it probably, but I hope not. All right, let's take a look. It's a, uh, it's kind of, um... Oh, dear. Do you think it's overcooked? Uh, it probably, but I hope not. All right, let's take a look. It's kind of, um... It's a, it's a medium. Overcooked by one grade. Shall we try it? Yep. Chuck? Um, the sauce is, for the first time, the real highlight of the dish. It's rich, it's creamy. Mashed potatoes are spot on. Thank you. True. Mash is delicious. Truffle in abundance. Every you want. But the cook on the filet is the Achilles heel tonight. 
Visually, the dessert, great height. Uh, no cream? No, it wasn't right. It's sticky, it's delicious, but it does need a touch of the cream to cut down the richness. Yeah. Absolutely delicious. And as we say in New Orleans, as you know, Chabé Bé. Oh, Chabé Bé. Mm -hmm. This dish kind of enlightened me to what Gordon's been talking about, the aerated quality of the sticky toffee pudding. Now I understand why it's so important. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Right, next up, James the Kennedy, please make your way down. Thank you. I feel like teamwork isn't necessarily evident on these plates. It was chaotic. I hope the judges are just gonna recognize that we tried our hardest and that the flavors are there. Sometimes uh, thicker, chewier pasta I like. Maybe a little bit saucy, but it looks tasty. It makes me want to eat it. Okay. I tell you, it's quite good. Very creamy. Taste the wine, taste all the components. You have the best sauce, hands down, by far. The actual flavor is good. It's just the pasta's too chewy. Okay. But shrimp cooked beautifully. Thank you, chef. Entree, lovely sear. The filet looks slightly overcooked from here. So the steak's more medium than medium rare. Who finished the mash? Uh, I did, chef. Um, the actual mash is delicious, mm -hmm. uh, and the seasoning on the steak is absolutely spot on. But when you can see how great that is, cooking it too early was the big faux pas here. Yes, yeah, chef. Filet mignon has to be just kissed on all sides. You don't hit it hard like that. But your potatoes are fantastic. They're creamy. They're delicious. Yeah, it's too bad the steak is overcooked. If not, it might have been the best filet entree of the evening for me. I agree. Shit. Who filled up the mold of the sticky topping pudding? I did, chef. Spot on. I mean, just absolutely nailed it. Thank right you. Right there. Ooh, nice. Beautiful. Wow. What a lovely consistency. Wow, look at that. Mm. That sticky toffee pudding, it is delicious. Sauce, just the right consistency, and yeah, beautiful. One of the best of the night. Good job. Thank you. Well done. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Yes. yes. <laughs> you know? Right, Sav, MD, please make your way down. Thank you. I'm feeling like MD and I did pretty good. I think we're one of the only teams that got all the components on the plate. And even though they're not perfect, we communicated well, we were a great team, and I know the flavors are there. Uh, visually on the pasta, it looks way too thick. I gotta say, ladies, the sauce is really the hero here. The shrimp is just nice and caramelized on the outside. Taste-wise, uh, delicious. Good job. So, filet looks properly seared. The pepper dosage looks good. How is the steak cooked? Should be medium rare. And it's a perfect medium rare. Steak, you've absolutely nailed. Beautifully. I mean, really, just masterclass right there. Needs a touch more sauce, but flawless, the filet mignon. It really is the hero. Great job. In this dish, what I really taste and see is teamwork, because you would have to work as a team to execute this at the level you did. OK, dessert uh, visually. Cream looks a little bit overwhipped, but this sticky toffee mm. looks delicious. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Beautiful. So, sticky toffee pudding is, yeah, flawless. Absolutely nailed. Good job. Yeah, this is phenomenal. I love how over the top ooey gooey it is. Exceptional. <laughs> Great job. Thank you so much. Uh, last team we'd like to taste is Charles and Jennifer. Please bring your dishes down. I am so disappointed with the way our dishes look. I tried my best to be a partner, 
but I feel like at some point there's only so much you can do. <sighs> Makes me so nervous. So, visually, appetizer, that looks embarrassing. Very embarrassing. Very. Oh, my God. Uh, where's the sauce? The sauce did not get complete. So the shrimp, are those cooked? Should we eat them? I, I don't think you should. So the shrimp, are those cooked? Should we eat them? I, I don't think you should. Uh, oh dear. This pasta's raw, too. We'll taste what we can of it. So who made the pasta? I made the pasta. There's certain things that you can freestyle. Pasta recipes are not one of those. Yes, sir. I agree. I'm so sorry. So the steak, is there a sauce on there, or what is that? Uh, it was the attempt of the sauce, yes. How is the steak cooked? Medium rare. Medium rare. Steak is pretty good medium rare, although the uh, peppering of the steak is very inconsistent. Shall we try it? Uh, I mean, the steak is actually cooked well. It's just way under seasons. The only thing that's a positive note are those potatoes. What happened with the sticky toffee pudding here? It's like a hockey puck. I was listening to Jen to put one scoop. Oh, Jen told you to put one scoop in there? Yes. Wow. And then who finished the sauce? So I'd rather you didn't put this on the plate if there's no sauce in there. Where's the sauce? Nowhere. Did we make a sauce? No, no we didn't. Wow. It's a shame because there's insufficient filling in your mold, so therefore it's crystallized and sort of overcooked. And it needs a sauce. That's why it's called sticky toffee pudding, not hockey puck pudding. Yes, sir. You know, Jennifer, I've seen you cook, and you can cook. Why didn't you just intervene? I, I tried to give very specific instructions. I coached as much as I could, and I feel like I could have done this if it were just me. Yeah, so you say you didn't even need a partner. You could have done no, better no, by yourself. No, no, I completely own that I made mistakes as well. The best thing about these three dishes is Grant putting you two together because it did not work. Thank you. Thank you. Very disappointing. I feel really bad because I let my emotions get to me, and this disaster can potentially send one of us home today. Man. Right now, we need a moment. Please excuse us. Let's be honest, this was a very difficult challenge. Yeah. Visually, Lizzie and Colby, I mean, it looked textbook, didn't it? The yeah. pasta was identical. Uh, identical. Yeah. Wayne, uh, Reagan's flavor profile was exceptional. Really good. Too bad the steak was a little bit over. Yeah. Uh, Sav and uh, MD. Amazing. Perfect cook on the steak? Perfect Absolutely, cook. yeah. Worst dish? It's obvious. All agreement? Yep. Excellent. Now, all of you, well done. One of the toughest challenges so far in this competition. Communication was key tonight, and some of you really found your voices. Joe, Ron, and myself feel two teams really did turn in strong performances. We would like Sav and MD and Colby and Lizzie, please make your way down here. Thank you. I am so proud of Colby and I. We are a top dish, but I want immunity, and we are so close. Great teamwork tonight. All in all, you four cooked the top dishes, but only one team cooked the best three course meal of the night. That team is MD and Sav. <laughs> I'm very happy. Absolutely, very happy. Lizzie Colby is a very, very close second. Let me tell you, you should be very proud. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Head back to your station. Sav and MD, you both win immunity from the elimination in the next challenge. And the first home cooks to make it into the top yeah, ten. Both of you, please, come over, pick up your pins. That's it, got it. Oh my gosh, I got the immunity pin! It feels so good! Good job, girl! 
No more floating in the middle. MD and I have shown that we are forces to be working with. Great job. Well done. Let's be honest, all the other teams tonight had some problems, let me tell you. But one team undeniably produced three underwhelming dishes. Do the honourable thing and both you step down here. This is the biggest nightmare of my life. There's still so much more that I want to do and I am not ready to say goodbye. Charles, Jennifer, both of you tonight were responsible for this loss. Yes. yes. But ultimately, we believe that one individual deserves more the blame than the other. <sighs> Jennifer, if you were expediting behind the line in one of my restaurants tonight, I would fire you on the spot. But we feel that you did just enough to stay in the competition. Say goodbye to Charles and head back to your station. Charles, tonight wasn't your night, but get that head up high, continue that climb. Absolutely, I promise. Come over, bud. Come and say goodbye. I'm disappointed because I let all the pressure get the best of me, and it won. Good luck. I'm so proud of myself because I got to showcase my heritage and my culture. Love you, Charles. I learned a lot, and I can't wait to take it back home to Ohio and work on my own Cambodian cookbook. Good luck, everyone. I'm very honored and proud to have this experience in the MasterChef kitchen. Next time, a familiar challenge, oh but with a big catch. Under each mystery box is a different fish. What the f am I going to do? MD and Sav get to choose two cooks who must swap fish. <laughs> Your target is getting bigger than the MasterChef logo on the doors. If you can't handle it, you're not supposed to be here. This is not easy. Damn. Is this your filet? It could be. I hope not. What did you do in an hour? I know that I'm in trouble. His overconfidence got the best of him. Somebody's going home. You've got one foot out the door. <laughs> one potato, two potato.